Hello guys, from this video I am starting a new video series on using local database with your C Sharp Windows Form application. So what is a local database? Local database is a database which you can use locally on a computer. So it doesn't require any server for its working. It works locally. So for example you create a project with the help of local database you can transfer your project or you can transfer your software from one computer to another computer without worrying or connecting to the server and Microsoft provides local database uh, in Visual Studio and you can use inherent Microsoft uh, local database with your C Sharp Windows Form application one of the very good example of local database is SQLite but we are not going to use SQLite but we are going to use Microsoft local database for this application so let's get started I will go to the file I will create a new windows form application so new project and it will open a project wizard I select Visual Studio Windows Form application or, and I will say this is my local database app ok and I will say ok and it will create a project for us in few minutes you will see how easy it is to make a local database and connect it with your C sharp very easily so once your project is ready what you need to do is you need to go to your project so first of all we will create a new local database so once your project is created just go to your project and right click your project and say add new item and click new item and here we will search for the local database this is a local database you can give the name of the local database I will give the name of my local database as employee database okay so just select local database give your database a name and it has the extension sdf dot sdf okay and add to your project and once it's created you will be able to see your file so it will give you this wizard just select this database and say next and it will retrieve information and save finish and once you click finish here you will see some files or some references are added to your project okay and you will be able to see this employee.stf file in your project right so what you can do is in this database you can create new tables so we are going to create a new table for employee in this employee.sdf database so if you see here or if you uh, don't see this ex server explorer in your uh, window if you go to the server explorer you will be able to see your new database called employee.sdf which we have recently created if you can't see this ex server explorer in here then go to view and just search for this server explorer and just pin it into your visual studio window okay so now this employee.sdf is here we will go to this table right click and we will say create table and first of all we will define the name of our table we will say our table name is 
employee info table and here you can define the columns of the table so, so first is id for example you can create a id second column i'm going to create is the name of the employee third is the surname of the employee fourth is age fifth maybe is he married or not so i will say is married and we will define the data type of this columns so id would be integer so i will select integer name would be varchar so it's okay surname also would be varchar and age would be our integer and is married is a bit so we will search for bit and we will define here bit okay and you can also define the length of these where care or name and you can also define if you want this to be the unique key or not and you can also define the primary key for your table primary key is nothing but a unique id for your data so for example i will say id is my primary key so it or id will be my unique identifier for the searching of my data okay so we have created a simple database for the employee and we say okay and now you would be able to see a table called employee info and which has some columns now we are going to add some uh, data to our table so just right click and go to show table data and in here we will add employee id 1 name is mark for example surname some surname age is 23 is married we will uh, fill it after creating our form okay so just leave it as it is second is second id and it will be some other name and age and this is married we will fill after creating the database or the windows form application so i have these two rows and i will say saves so my data is saved now what i will do is i will open my form which is form 1 in uh, in my windows form application and this is my form now go to uh, data so this here go to data source in here and if you can't see the data source just go to this data and say show data source okay and it's already showing us the data source and you can click right click it and you can refresh it so go to this tool once again and not this tool but this data and we will say we want to add a new data source to our project so go to data and click this add new data source and select database and click next once again database next and now we are going to choose our database so we have this employee connection string so we will choose it and say next and from here we see that all the data or all the column which we have defined 
is present here id name surname and is marriage is present here i will select whole table so i will select or check this table here and i will say finish and our data set name is employee data set one right this one and now you would be able to see your data source in this data source tab okay and now in this data source tab just you can choose with this combo box you want to uh, use data grid view or you want to use details so for example i click this combo box and i choose details and i will make my form a little bit bigger and i will drag and drop my database to my form and you see that it has created some text boxes and some labels and a text box for yourself and this is connected to the database so it's really simple and what we can do is we can change the property of this checkbox as married and we can delete this label is married so you can see like this and second thing you can do is just go to the data source once again and once again click this combo box and this time choose data grid view from here click it and choose it and now just drag and drop your database to your windows form application or this form so now you would be able to see a data grid view is created which is connected to the database once again and you will see here all the columns which you have defined in the database id name surname age and is married right now you have seen the, how easily you have created a connection with the database and you have created this form let's try and run our program for now and if you remember we have given two data one was mark one was julie and this is the same data which we have defined in the database right you can flip through the database by clicking these buttons you see and you can see the change here and you can edit your database so for example we say mark is married just click this checkbox and say save so this his data is saved now when you flip through the database you can see here this checkbox automatically checks when you flip through the database you can add a new record also so just say this plus sign and say our id is 3 name is so name and age is 44 and he is also married so i will give this data and i say save and you can see the data is saved i think we need to check it and then save it now it's coming here also okay so in this way you can create your data also and you can delete your data so just select your row which you want to delete and just click delete now i have already told you that your local database doesn't depend on the server so let's see how easily we can shift or transfer our application from one place to another so just go to your project right click your project and go to open folder in windows explorer and go to bin 
here and go to debug and you will be able to see the executable file for your project here so it's the same application it will start from here also right what you can do is you have this application and you have this executable file what I'm going to do is I will just copy this uh, folder from here and I've, I'm going to place it at some other place in my computer for example I will paste it on this desktop so I have changed the location of the executable file but because it is a local app database application it will run from here also because all the files which are needed is present here and you if you see here we also have our database file which is transferred with the debug folder so this was our database file employee.stf and we can also start our application from here also and we have the same data right and for example I just cut my database from here and place it somewhere else outside this folder here and now when I run the program it will give me some errors because my database is not present so let's try and run and it's giving me some errors that you are not connected to the database or something and you say continue but you cannot see the data in here so once again I will just cut my database and paste it in the folder and once again I will be able to see my data so this is what I mean by local database you can transfer it from one place to another one computer to another but you don't require any server connections so I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new this time in the further videos I will uh, explain you some more features about local database and Windows form application so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now